welcome to another Blues Blind Box. Today we will be doing the second edition of Viewer's Choice, where I ask you guys on Instagram which one of my blind boxes that you would like to see opened in a video, and I got a whole bunch of responses. I can't open all of them in this video, but don't worry, there will be future Blues Blind Boxes. I don't know when I'm going to post the next picture because already in between this video and the last one when I posted the picture I've already gotten a new blind box or two so it's hard to kind of keep up but I will post another picture and you guys will get to vote for a future episode. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you don't miss that plus we share other parts of our lives that may or may not be interesting to you, but there you have it. So from that video, we had an overwhelming response for a few of my blind boxes, and one of them would happen to be this really cute free blind box. So I will be opening this one today. We also had a lot of you wanting to see the Yuri on Ice blind box, so let me just find that. Um, Nope, that's the Indian Rampa. Oh, geez. Where did it go? It's gotta be somewhere in here. Oh, wait. Is this it? Okay, there we go. So we'll be opening up this Yuri on Ice one. We also had quite a few people wanting to see a Pusheen blind box. So we will open up this one from series three. So lastly, we only had one vote for this last blind bag that I will be picking out, but I think it's really adorable and I want to see what these are all about. And they are the chubby puppies. And I think I got this one in Target and we don't even live near Target. So hopefully I don't fall in love or I can find them around me if I do. So now that we have all of our blind boxes picked out, let's get started. So I'm going to begin with the chubby puppies because I think they look really cute with their little short stubby legs. And in this set, you actually get to pick out one of them that you want so you can always be happy, which I think is a really cool idea. So I picked out the beagle and then of course it comes with a mystery one. So let's find out which one I got. Ooh, these are really hard to rip open and they do come with a pull tab. There we go. I just must be really bad at this today. Okay, well here we've got the checklist and the first puppy. So let's start off with this one and then I will try to get the mystery one out. So here is a close up of the beagle. And everything about this is just so cute. Again, I love the little chubby legs and look at his little tail. So here are all the ones that you can get in this series. And I think other than the beagle, I really like the husky or the lavender Labrador. That's really cute. Cocker Spaniel, Collie. There's so many cute choices, but we'll have to see which one I get. So now we are back to trying to get this open. So I'm gonna go at it from this side. Oh, why is this so tough? Aren't these supposed to be for children? Okay, I got it. All right, so here is the one that I got. Ed, I have no idea. Is this a poodle? What is this? So I did end up with the poodle. Not my first choice, but it's still so cute. I love how all of their tongues just hang out. They capture like puppies so perfectly in these little figures and they're really nice too. Like I don't know if you guys can see that, but the paint job on them are pretty well detailed and the sculpting. So this is a poodle, so it has like the curly hair and we have all of that detail depicted right here on this little figure. So those are really cute. I'm gonna have to find more of these. And I wonder if this would be a good size for Nendroids, cause that would be just so freaking adorable if they worked. So since we are on the pet vibe, we will go ahead and open up Pusheen next. And if you guys have seen any of my past videos, I have opened up a couple of these before and I've gotten the same exact one both times, which is the kitty in the paper bag there. And I'm really hoping for Pusheen in the box. So that is what we are aiming for today. So we'll just have to find out if that's the one I got. So let's see. I just 
really I'll be happy with any one but the bag one because I keep getting that one. Okay. And these ones do come in another bag, so they are double blind. And just when I had thought it was going to be easy to open, I had to go reach for my scissors. So let me just hopefully not cut the figure inside, or the plush, I should say. <gasps> And I got a different one. So it is Pusheen relaxing on a towel and she is wearing a pair of sunglasses, which is really cute. And as you guys might have noticed, they do come apart so you can mix and match them. And this one here is just like, it's kind of like a towel material. It's really nice because Pusheen is so much softer. And there you go. So. I was pretty lucky that I didn't get a double this time, and also it's Pusheen with these adorable sunglasses, so how can you go wrong? I don't know, but let's move on to Yuri on Ice. So this one is a charm, and as I explained in our haul video, it's supposed to look like a movie clip. And since this one is just in a bag, we don't get to see any of the choices, so I don't even know what they all are, because they only had one out for display. So I just hope I get a good clip, and it's hopefully of characters that I love and not weird side characters. And here we go. So this one, I have a water fight, and it's of Yuri and Victor. So that's so cool, it's like the bath scene. I believe, I don't remember if they had a water fight, but you can't forget the part where like Victor stands up all naked like and is like, I'm going to train you. So that's pretty cool. I really like these charms. I kind of wish I grabbed another one, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I should start a Yuri on Ice eat a bag since this is my second or third charm now. But I really, really like this design. I love the film strip element. And on the back, it is just white, so nothing special there. But this would be perfect for an Ita bag. I really love this one. But moving on. And here we go. Speaking of water, we have these free figures that you guys wanted to see me open. So I am hoping for my best boy here on the front, Haru. But any of them are really cute. Rin would be nice. Ray is so cute with his glasses, though. So I don't think I'd be mad if I didn't get him, but come on, who doesn't love Haru? Sadly though, this was like $15, and it probably would have been cheaper if I just bought him separately out of the box, or about the same price, but you know me, I just can't stop getting blind boxes. I love the surprises, I think it's just really fun, and oh, who did I get? Sadly, it's not Haru, but... I did get Nagisa! Oh, that's really cute, and I like that this is already blown up. I was wondering if I was going to have to blow up this tiny inner tube. And then he also comes with, is that a penguin? Oh, this is really adorable. I'm going to have to go and find these somewhere else at a con and just buy Haru. The whole set would be nice too, because they're just really cute. I don't know. No, the penguin is stuck. Okay, got it out. So then Nugisa just fits right inside and you can display him just like that. Or you could have the penguin there sitting in his lap. So, oh my goodness, this is making me melt. I love this. Why did I not pick up more? Oh, right, they're $15, that's right. But I should have really just got Haru out of the box. So cute though. So here are all of my draws from my blind boxes this time. I don't think I really got any top picks, but I am not upset. I'm just happy. Everything is just so cute and just really nice. Everything's great quality. So I'm happy. I am I really am. It's okay that I didn't get a top pick this time. But let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye Blues.